we are continuing our series on understanding binary in C-sharp with lesson number five. In this video, we're going to be learning about the OR operator in 10 minutes or less. So here we have a basic setup. I've done a little bit of work where we now have two values, val1 and val2, and we're printing those out on the, the console. So we can see val1 is 1001 and val2 is 0010. Um, if you want to just do the four numbers, I don't want to read all eight. Um, so we have these two numbers. Well, what's the OR operator? Well, the OR operator, and let's just, um, let's just make sure we're clear here on what that we're talking about, is an operator which is going to look at every bit in the, in the binary value and compare it against another binary value with the bits at the same positions. So it's going to compare this first position on the right with this first position on the right if we compare value one and value two. And it's going to do an OR. Now, what an OR is, is, and this is a logical OR, it's not a, um, not what we're talking about when we talk about like an if statement where we put an OR there, it's a little bit different. So a logical OR, or an OR for binary comparison, is when we say, hey, if either value in a current a, a certain position is one, then the result is going to be one in that position. So in this case, there's a one in the, let's call it the first position on value one, and there's a zero in the first position on value two. That means the result will be a one in the first position. And the same thing is true with the next one where value two has a one, value one is not, Therefore, the result will have a one in the second position. The third position, neither one has a one. Therefore, we'll get a zero in the third position in the result. So let's see this in action. So we're going to say uh, int result equals val1, and then the pipe character, and val2. So notice it's a single pipe. So if you're going to do an if statement, you know, where you say if... Um, true or, you know, one equals one, something like that. Uh, we do a double, um, a double pipe character to say or. That's not what we're doing here. It's something different. We're doing a binary comparison. Um, so this is going to be saying, hey, I want to do an or. I want to or these two values together. That's the best way of saying that. And so we're going to get this result. So let's Let's copy this and paste it down here and say result is, and then say result. So we're going to see what oring these two values together will give us. So there we go. So the result is, and let's, let's see if we can move that over. Um, sorry. Um, let's call this, uh, val3, just we have the, an equal um, comparison as far as lining it up. I could have done it a different way, but val3 works. So val3, or the result, is 1001, or 1011. So that is an or, because it said, okay, at the first position, we have a one, or I'm sorry, the left position, we have a one, and then we have zero and both, so therefore it's a zero, and then we have a zero and a one, therefore it's a one, and a one and a zero, therefore it's a one. Okay, so the or says that if either one of those has a one in a, a certain position, the result will have a one in that certain position. And let's just be doubly clear here. If I were to say one zero one zero for val two, it's not going to change anything. Okay, because both have a one, so the result can have a one because either of these can have a one, and the result is a one. So think of it in a similar way with how we do things in an if statement, where we say, if this is true or this is true, either one, then the result is true. Well, if either one, then the result is true. But if neither, then the result is false. If either one, yes, one is true, therefore the result is true. That's how we or values together. This is going to be, again, useful for when we have two different uh, flags we want to add together where we say we already have, you know, this value where you already have these two things true, but we want to add to make sure that this thing is true and this thing is, this thing is true. 
Well, we can add those together and get the result, which is three things are true because um, we didn't turn off any of them. We just said, yes, turn on if either of them has a one in the position. So that's how we use or to combine two values together. So when you're reading it, think if either has a one, then it gets a one. It, the only way you get a zero is if neither has a one. That's the only way you get a zero in an or situation. 